Hello, my beautiful Pisces, and welcome to Yola's Energies. Thank you for being here. This is this is really, I picked those cards for you, and then I'm looking at them, and I'm like, wow, look at that. Look at the bird, look at the sunflowers. You know the sunflowers? I mean, I leave the cards to the end, but for some reason, I couldn't. I, the sun of flowers is when you look up to the sun for energy, for healing, for uh, knowing, for awakening, for uh, spirituality. And when the dark time come is when you are close to each other, when you hug each other, when you bend, when you depend on each other, like-minded people to help each other and to be there for each other. I love it. And then look at the butterfly. Look at the butterfly. I love it. I'm not going to read them now. I'm just looking at the picture and I'm like, wow. And it's a bluebird. And then the aquamarine, look at that, holding the aquamarine and in, in, uh, uh, in the hand, lifting it up, you know, lifting it up. is like you finally find in your life a purpose. So let's see what is in the cup. I turned it upside down. Let's hope it had dried. Wow. Look at that. You have a quite a bit going on. Look at the darkness in the cup. So you've been going through quite a bit. You've been going through quite a bit. Your mind, you're just too, too overwhelmed with so many things. So the bottom of the cup, I really, I cannot tell, but there is a person dark and darkness it's too much on your mind too much on going on for you and you have a smile on your face a smile you 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 kept putting a smile on your face even with all look at the darkness look at all this uh, um so many bad things happen this is what I'm, i have to say so many bad things happen that you but you still kept the smile on your face and you can hardly, you can't see it really in the cup, but look at that. Look how beautiful this is. I want to, I want to turn it this way so I can see, I want to read this part for you. Look at that. Look how you manage to separate. It's like Moses with his stick, he separated the, the sea and you separate and finally you sat down in a prayer look you meditating you sitting in prayer and the the the, the whole uh, uh ambiguity of what is going on and the stress and the emotions separated open it or opened a road for you look for you to climb up i really love that because you had the people on this road that is helping you. Um, maybe some helping you, maybe some are trying to put you down. Maybe, you know, so, but at, at the end, you rise up, you rise up. There is a, a, a window in here. You really went through very hard time. And then you have a snake in here. This snake is, is on, on the way. Uh, coming up, somebody, um, somebody did something. Somebody, uh, uh, snake is more. Uh, um, um, what is it? Uh, knowledge, you know. It's like you know. It's like the snake in the Garden of Eden. This is the snake that uh, people hate. They call it the devil. It is not the devil. It is you finally got awareness of what need to happen because we're so stuck in whatever is going on. Then finally, it's like, okay, this need to move. And for all this time that Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden, the, the snake didn't show up. It would show up because they weren't doing it on their own. So what I am going to say in here, whatever is happening in here, you guys, whatever is happening, it's uh, it's the universe had to make it happen because if it's not, you will not make decision. You will not move. You will not climb. You will stay stuck. 
and the universe had to do that. You have the swan. So you had to manage to come uh, through uh, the snake. The snake, you had a swan, a beautiful swan, a beautiful swan. Look up the swan for an animal, uh, uh, for a spirit guide, you know, for an animal guide. Um, um, uh, whatever the swung bringing you, the snake made it happen. This is a beautiful. So don't ever feel that all oh, things been rough. No, things not been rough. God has to roughen it sometime. Let me tell you, if I'll tell you the roughest stuff I've been through, all of us gone through rough stuff. We all have our stories. We all have the pain. We all have to go and we all deal with the same issues. The thing is, is how we think about it. So the beautiful part is when you look at that, you, you, you separate it. You separate in things. God put you, you had all this darkness, all this chaos you had to go through, the ambiguity of how you gonna move on. You made a step, you knelt down, you prayed, you, you uh, uh, meditated, uh, and you just allowed it to be and things start to move on. The snake brought a lot of awareness and the, the swan bringing a big, beautiful gift from the universe. You need to find out that gift. But the snake is not bad in here. The snake is making things happen. And it's a beautiful because um, you come into a point where look at the butterfly. The butterfly in here, there is a, um, what you call it? Um, uh, a window, a door, uh, something open up and there is transformation happening in here. But you're still keeping that energy around you. You're still keeping the darkness. You still have a people around you that still bring in darkness. You need to let go. You have to let go. This is the, the part of self-love. We don't know how to let go. We don't know how to say that's enough. Those people are killing me. They're taking my energy. They're causing me problems. They're causing me headaches. They're causing me my life to be so depressed and so stressful. You have to come to that acknowledgement because the butterfly is upside down. There is an awareness, there is a transformation, there is an awakening, but the, the, the butterfly is upside down. <coughs> Excuse me. So you have to let go of those two people in here that's holding the manifestation from happening. Let go of them, they need to go, okay? So let's see what the card tell you. <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I need to keep a cup of water and I forget. Okay, this bird, look at that. Did I tell you, look, the, the, the sunflowers, the sunflowers, the sun right here, look at the sun. The sun is right here. The sun the flowers look to the sun for healing, for energy, for spirituality, for learning, for love, for connection. This blue bird, I love this blue, blue bird. Let's see what it say. Your plans will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. You'll garner the recognition for your accomplishments you so richly deserve. That is a beautiful, you will, you will. Your mantra, I choose to learn through love. So whenever all this happened, in the cup, look at the darkness, the, uh, the, the, the overwhelmed emotion, things happening, one thing after the other, the worry, the fear, the fear, the fear, the fear. Sit and don't think about it. 
and just sing, sit and, and meditate and allow, let go, let go, let go, detach and allow the universe to work you through to the top. I want you to, when you reach here, we can't have those two people here. Those two people been here for all your life. You need to get rid of them or you need to find a way to separate them, to move them away, move away from them. Doesn't mean you don't need to speak to people, but you need to take care of you. Certain things in life, you need to take care of you when the right time come, okay? So my friends, I hope this reading spoke to you. This is a message. I hope it touched your heart. I hope it gave you some guidance. Don't forget, I choose to learn through love. This is your mantra for the week. Keep saying it, keep saying it, keep saying it. And um, if you like, if you like this uh, reading, please like and subscribe. Help me, um, help me uh, raise my, uh, my channel in here. Thank you so much.